No idea for you on this Friday. Head over to McDonald's, to McCafe, where you can have a, a great frappe or a smoothie. And while you're there, feel free to pull out your laptop and surf the web because McDonald's has Wi-Fi. It's the place to go for great coffee drinks all day, every single day. That's at McDonald's. All right, calling all soccer players. The Hurricanes are looking for you. The Cape Coral Hurricanes is the area's only professionally ran top amateur men's soccer team, and they are looking for a few good players. JP Tarasi is the team manager, and Mick Whitehead is the team head coach. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks this for is us. big news for our area, and this yes. is new news as well because when did this come about? Well, we've been working on it for about a year and a half now, uh -huh. um, but having serious conversations over the last nine or ten months, and we announced. It only a couple weeks ago uh, at City Hall, January 9th, actually. So. so, how did this come about? How did we decide that Cape Coral needed a professional soccer team here? Well, I mean, Southwest Florida is, is a hotbed for soccer. I mean, youth soccer here is huge, and we get referred to a lot as being developmental area for soccer. Um, what and do you once, think that is? What is it about Southwest Florida? Is it the weather? Probably, yeah. And a lot of people come from elsewhere to live here and raise their families here, and, and you know, Cape and Southwest Florida has a lot of families. And and, and the soccer associations here are pretty pretty large, and they're very well run. Uh, the coaches and the organizations do a fantastic job. And once these kids actually grow up, um, you know, quite quite often if they're talented enough, play to high school, and then they go off to college somewhere and uh, maybe get lucky enough to play somewhere else. But now we're given an opportunity to come back home or develop their skills and play here. Yeah, so what is the overall goal, do you think? What's your dream for this soccer team? Well, this year we're having um, a full year of exhibition uh, games to develop our team and to get the public aware of the team. But next year we actually are, uh, we have intentions of applying for a franchise in a much larger league called the USL PDL which um, is very, in the soccer community, people know that it's a very big league. It's, it, compared to, to most people know baseball, it's almost like double-A baseball. Okay. Um, so it's a, but it's top amateur. They're not paid professionals. But okay. uh, that's what we, we hope to be in a year from now. Well, and again, he mentioned it. The big thing that we want to let people know this morning is you are looking for players to be on your team, right, Mick? So Absolutely. what, who would be a good player? Who are you looking for? Um, well, I mean, we have a lot of college players that, um, you know, being an under-23 team, it's not just a U-23. We, we can have like eight people over the age of 23. Um, so yeah, explain that because it's a U23 team, but that doesn't mean that everybody has to be under 23. Right. Correct, yeah. So what we can have the U23 and we get the college players that come home to play mm -hmm. over the summer. And then we also have the older players that maybe were in college that, you know, don't play so much anymore. And uh, some international players also. Well, I don't know if you could tell from his accent, but you're from <laughs> jolly old England, and I hear you uh, played professionally as well yourself. Uh, yeah, I dabbled a little. You dabbled a little bit. He's yeah. being humble. So tell me, I mean, why did you want to get involved in this, and how did you become a part of this and well, the head coach? Well, I've, I've been involved in the community here for, for a while. I've coached high school, coached uh, youth soccer. Um, JP had come and approached me. Uh, I guess I came recommended, <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, we uh, we sat down and we spoke. And it's a fantastic opportunity, and it's it's great for Southwest Florida, Cape. And we're really looking forward to just taking it to the next level. Yeah. What do you think your goal is in developing your team this year, and uh, what are you really hoping to do? Well, the goal is always for me to win, mm -hmm. but I mean to develop the players and get some local talent. Um, we have so much talent here in Southwest Florida um, and the Cape that um, it's, it's a stage for them and we're, we're giving them that opportunity to, to, to take it to the next level. So I want to promote mm -hmm. all the local talent. Do you, when you say local, do you have to live in Cape Coral to no. be a Cape Coral Hurricane? No, not at all. Uh, we have people, we actually have people coming in just to try out from all over the country. Well, speaking and, of tryouts, yeah. tell people when this is, because this is when... It's, it's next weekend, uh, February 3rd through mm -hmm. the 5th, um, starting at, we'll start registration about 6 o'clock on Friday night, do a few things that night, um, and then all day Saturday with the registration fee they get Friday night, all day Saturday to give us a good look at them, and then we may or may not made a, make a little bit of cuts for Sunday, and then uh, we have another tryout session coming up in a couple weeks we will probably invite some people back to for the second round. What is the minimum age requirement how old do you at least have to be I mean is there there, there really isn't a minimum if, I mean if they got the talent they got the talent but usually right. it's it's uh, you, late you, teens yeah, yeah I mean there's no actual minimum age obviously you can't be 10 years yeah. old 
playing with men, but you know, high school seniors can apply. I mean, it's 18 years old. And I imagine you're looking for some serious players that really want to put in the work. This is not going to be in uh, necessarily yeah. easy. No, no, it's not. It, and and the, the competition level, at, not only in our league and the teams that we're going to be playing, because um, we're actually going to be playing some of the USLPDL that I mentioned. Some of those teams we're going to play on an exhibition level awesome. this year. So um, you're talking the top college soccer players from around the country and the top local talent who's, is who plays in this larger league. Uh, and we're going to be playing some of those teams. So it, it, it's a very highly competitive league. Yeah. I know you want to get the word out that maybe businesses and other people can get involved. Maybe if you're not a soccer player, what? how can you get involved? Well, I'm a, I'm a marketing guy, too. Mm -hmm. uh, people that know me, I, I own Terassi Media, which is a marketing company. And coming from that perspective, we have a lot of opportunities for exposure. Of course, we have our team sponsorships. There's three levels of that. But there, you can also advertise in our, we're going to do a 32-page full-color program. You can advertise in there. We're going to bring the field with banners, uh, 10 and 20 foot banners. Very inexpensive. Those those people that know me know that I make it affordable for people too to market. Um, and then also on the website as well, um, caperhurricanes.com. You can go there and you'll see all the different opportunities for advertising with us as well. All right. Well, you have two special offers for us this morning. Let's go ahead and do that. Mention the morning blend on your tryout form. Yes. Her email and receive what? Um, the $195 fee was a, a early registration fee that um, was available up and through last week mm -hmm. and, and we extended it till actually uh, today, uh, Friday, and we're ex actually extended it um, to the 31st for anybody that mentions this as well. Okay, and then for fans, another special offer. Yes, uh, if you go to our website and go to that hidden page to our website, uh, you'll you'll fill out a little form where I'll send you a gift certificate for 15% off any any merchandise because it's another thing we're going to have just mm -hmm. like any um, semi pro team or pro team has is a full line of merchandise that you can buy that has Cape Hurricanes logo on it. It looks pretty cool. Over. We have the jersey back here. Yeah. I love it. By the way, as we close, you're going to be at the Fox Four Chamber and Commerce uh, Business Expo at BJ's this weekend too, so you can come yes. and find out more about the Cape Coral uh, Cape Coral Hurricanes. Pretty exciting. Yes, you're going to come back on the show a little bit yeah, later too yeah, to talk about more yes, about the season. Absolutely. So we're excited to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, let's send it over to Bill. All right, from Hurricanes to Thunder, one last time, time for you to feel the thunder because we are giving away tickets to see Monster X Monster Truck Tour. You will see the world-famous Bigfoot, sick tricks and backflips, even motorcycle freestyle. Caller number four to call this number, 239-673-3388. You will win not only a family four-pack, you will get pit passes. Yes, indeed, to Monster X Truck Tour at Germain Arena. That's on Friday, February the 10th. You can't win, unfortunately, if you won anything with us here on Fox 4 over the last 90 days. When we come back, first of all, we're going golfing. You guys like to golf, right? Yeah, 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 they like to golf. All right, and then we're going, ooh, we're going under the sea.